Hello everyone, this is Shonko and welcome to another video. Uh, if you're new to my channel or if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and click the bell icon when you subscribe so that you never miss a video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about threads. So there's, a, there's an interview question that I recently faced and I would like, like to share that uh, question with you guys. So I was asked, I, I was told that there are two threads, one thread uh, prints odd numbers and the other thread prints even numbers and I was asked them to run sequentially or in such a way that they print numbers uh, in an ascending order so ideally this is something we should not be doing with threads because we are not supposed to control how threads work or how threads run and we are not supposed to uh, control the sequence in which they work or in which they run but then again these kind of questions are asked in interviews to test uh, if you really know about threads and if you really know how to work with threads and how well you can you know manage uh, or handle threads in your code so these kind of questions are mainly asked to test those kind of skills on threads so for this demo I have already created a simple Java project named namely threads and uh, this is a simple package that I've created call it com.demo and inside this I'm going to create a class and uh, I'm going to name it print sequence I want a main method so I'm going to select this box and then I'm going to click on finish So first, inside this class, I'll create one class, inner class, and call it public class odd, and uh, this would implement this would implement runnable. This class implements runnable. And uh, I'd override the run method. Okay, so let's say int i equals to one and while i is less than ten, less than equals to ten. I would keep printing the numbers. So I'd say system.out.println I'll print i and then I'd say i plus equals to 2 so I would increment the value of i by 2 now let's run this thread and see what happens so I'd say thread let's first create a create an object of this class so let's say print sequence PS equals to new print sequence and I would say thread odd uh, equals new thread and let's say PS dot new uh, odd and I would name this thread as odd thread right let's print this let's uh, start this thread and see what happens so let's say odd dot start right now let's run this class run as java application Okay, so we have uh, these numbers, odd numbers, from 1 through 9, and uh, let's run it again. So every time we run this thread, it prints uh, the numbers from 1 through 9, and uh, it prints the odd numbers. So similarly, let's have another class which prints even numbers. So I create another class, 
and the inner class inside this class and call it a uh, public class even paste it and here let's say two and that's it and let's run this now let's run this thread so I'd call this even and here I would say even and I'll name this even thread all right and let's comment this and I'll say even dot start all right let's run this so now we have this thread uh, called even thread which runs uh, to print the numbers from 2 through 10 and uh, it prints the even numbers so every time we run this it prints from 2 through 10 and uh, it prints the even numbers so let's run both the threads and see what happens okay so we have all the numbers from 1 through 10 but they are not in an ascending order or they are not ordered they are like randomly printed they get randomly printed every time they are not in order so how do we run this thread once and then this thread uh, uh, next and then again next this thread and then again next this thread until uh, both the threads complete their tasks so how do we do that okay so for that we need a shared resource so I'd say private static volatile object and I'll call this mutex and I'll say also new object alright and uh, let's have a flag so let's say private static uh, volatile boolean say I'll say I'll name this even flag equals uh, initialize it with false so let's say it was false right now what I'm gonna do is inside this one I put this code inside a synchronized block so let's say I'll select it right click I'll say surround with and I choose synchronized block okay so inside this while loop what I'll do is I'll check if even flag is false so if if even flag is false then we should be printing the odd number so if even flag is false then we execute this this piece of code else will ask this thread to release the lock on mutex and wait so what I'll do is I'll say mutex dot wait so I'll surround it with try catch and in case this is interrupted while it is waiting to maintain its interrupted state I'll say thread dot current thread dot interrupt so once it is interrupted and once it throws an interrupted exception the thread loses its interrupted state or the, the interrupted state of the thread is changed so to maintain the interrupted state of the th uh, state of the thread I would say thread dot current thread dot interrupt right and uh, so once uh, this number is printed I would say even flag equals true so that it prints uh, the even number next and I'll say 
mutex dot notify all. So this would wake up all the all the threads that are waiting uh, to get the uh, the monitor for this particular uh, object called mutex. So I'll do similar thing for this thread. So I'll say I'll, I'll put this inside a synchronized block. I'll surround it with a synchronized block, and I'll choose this synchronized block, right? And inside the while loop, I'd say if even flag. So if even flag is true, then we'd be printing the even number. Else we'd be releasing the lock and putting this thread to wait state and we'll put this inside a try catch and inside the catch block I'll say thread dot current thread dot interrupt right and after printing this number I'd set the even flag to false and I'd notify all the threads that are waiting to get the lock for this object right yep I guess that's it now let's run it okay so now we have numbers from 1 through 10 and they are printed in an ascending order so every time we run it we get the same result so this is ideally what you should not be doing with threads because here we are controlling the sequence of threads and how uh, the threads are executed because that is the main purpose of threads that we don't care about how the uh, threads are executed and in which order the threads are executed so here we are doing just the opposite we are actually controlling how the threads are executed See? but these kind of questions are asked in interviews to check if you know about uh, if you know about synchronized blocks if you know about you know uh, these methods notify notify all and how they work so to test uh, those kind of skills these kind of questions are asked in interviews yeah that's it this is how we can print uh, numbers in ascending order using two threads one of which prints numbers in even uh, order and one the other one uh, prints numbers in odd so this is how you can do it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching